Hello, all you lovely learners in learning land. Tyler from 10thumbspro.com coming at you with another ukulele tutorial like we do every single Wednesday and Saturday. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit subscribe, ring the bell, never miss a lesson. Today, we're going to do a beginner finger style blues in the key of G. We'll have all the tabs on the screen, but you can get printable version for this and all our lessons by becoming a Patreon. Link in the notes. More info in the description, including our other links. A direct link to this specific tab is pinned in the first comment of the comment section on YouTube. Email is in the description as well if you want some one-on-one -on -one lessons. Grab your ukulele, brain and attention span, and let's get bluesy. Follow me on in and let's do it. An introduction to finger style blues in the key of G. Really fun key, let's break it down. We need three chords, the G chord, more specifically the G7, open G string, middle finger on the second fret of the C, index on the first fret of the E string, and your ring finger on the second fret of the A. C string, open, 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 index on the first fret of the A. And to keep it more beginner friendly, we're gonna do the Hawaiian D7, middle finger on the second fret of the A, open C, ring finger on the second fret of the E, and an open A string. If you like bar chords, you can bar the second fret, middle finger on the third fret of the A, that's another option. Okay, to keep this more beginner friendly, we're gonna do the same pattern over every chord like it was a strum pattern, and it sounds like this. So let's make the G7, and your thumb is going to play the G string, while your index and your middle pluck the E and the A at the same time. That's on the first beat, one. Then your thumb is gonna come down and grab the C string on the second beat, one, two. Just practice that a little bit. One, two, then the G string on the third beat, and the C on the fourth. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Un, dos, tres, qua. Un, dos, tres, qua. One, two, three, four. A little bit of syncopation give this, it gives this a lot of movement though. So what we're gonna do is after the second beat, we're gonna go one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. So we're gonna play that first beat, those three strings. Thumb grabs the C on the two, then your index finger will play the E string on the and. One, two, and. One, two, and three. One, two, and three, four. Take it nice and slow. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Go ahead and repeat that as many times as you can. That pattern is the foundation for everything we're gonna do, so you really shouldn't move on until you feel confident with it. Once you do feel confident with it, we're gonna play it four times over our G chord. G7 to be um, harmonically correct, let's say. So here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, and 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 three, four. Now we can do something called a quick change by switching the second measure to our C7. We just make a C7 and play the exact same pattern. One, two, and three, four. We're gonna play that over the second measure. So the first four measures, measures, the first four measures with the tabs up actually look like this. So here we go. You got them right here. And you'll see the second one is our C7. So here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four. C7. Back to the G7. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Four. Then we go to the middle four measures. So for the middle four measures, we do the, the finger picking pattern two times over C and two times over G. So here we go. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. G7. We have eight of our 12 bar blues. We need the last four, which is the turnaround. We're gonna do the pattern one time over our D7, Hawaiian D7, feel free to use this one. One, two, and three, four. 
C7, 1, 2, and 3, 4. G7, 1, 2, and 3, 4. D7. So let's go ahead and play that from the top, and then we're going to look at a turnaround. From the top. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you just start over, and it would just keep going as many times as you want. Random solo? G minor pentatonic would be your vehicle for destruction. So let's look at a turnaround. The turnaround, we're going to play this over bars 11 and 12 to get some spice, and it sounds like this. So if we look at the last four measures, we finger pick over D7 and C7 all the same. But then when we get to the 11th measure, we hit the open G on the first beat, one. And we're gonna go up here to the eighth fret of the A string. We're gonna play the open G and the eighth fret of the A at the same time. Then after that, we're gonna hit the eighth fret one more time on the and. Two and. Down to the seventh fret, three, G string, seventh fret of the A at the same time, and then again, you play that note, so you get one, two, and three, and four, sixth fret here, four, and one, one, two, and three, and four, and one. On the second beat, you play the open C string, two, and three. When you get here on the third beat, you let that ring for two measures, or not two measures, two beats. Two and three, four, boom. And then you start over from the top. So you get one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, four. Start over. So let's take it from the top and let's add the turnaround to it from the very top. One, two, three, four. You start over. Just mixing the G minor pentatonic scale in there, the G blues scale. So another thing you can do to spice in this up though, is it doesn't have to be one, two, and. It can be one, and two, and three, and four, and. You can play on any of the ands you want. One, two, and three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two. So feel free to experiment with that, but first get that foundation down. That's really, that foundation is the introduction to beginner fingerstyle blues in the key of G on your ukulele. Fingerstyle blues is so cool. I love the swagger, I love the bounce, I love how old timey it is. It makes me think of Robert Johnson, who just had his 110th birthday. Congratulations, RJ. He's the one that went down to the crossroads and made all this stuff kind of in motion, if you will. Okay, so thank you so much for learning with us. Keep on playing the blues. If you love the blues, you should check out our multiple blues challenges. And until next time, keep on rocking and rolling. Think about becoming a Patreon. It starts at just a dollar a lesson, but you can always set a cap, one, two, three dollars a month, and that includes unlimited downloads. All right, until next time, have a lovely day. Keep it bluesy. Take care.